Linden deserves an unprecedented amount of attention and focus and investment. And uh, tonight is another way for us to celebrate the great people and history of this neighborhood, but also coming together to plan the future. We are making a historic $21.4 million investment in the South Linden planning area in this year's capital budget, a record high for this planning area. The Neighborhood Pride program is our way of taking city services all in one week out into the community where we kind of, I like to use the term, kind of bum rush the community with city services. And so we have safety, public service, utilities, code enforcement, all of our services that are coming out into the community for one week. And then this allows the residents in that community to speak firsthand to city employees about what's going on, issues that they have. You heard some of them here tonight, like high grass, um, lots of cars in the uh, car lots in the area, those kinds of things. And so we try to make sure that we enforce code, but do it in a gentle manner, but still do it in a way so that the um, residents and the, the folks in the community have their concerns um, addressed. The Linden area has its share of problems. You know, we have gang activity there. Windsor Terrace Policy is one of our most prevalent gangs. We have other issues there with prostitution, with drugs, with crime. We have an issue with vacant houses and structures in the Linden area. Uh, five Precinct has more vacants on it per capita than any precinct in the city. But with that said, there's a lot of good things going on in the Linden area. We have the Point of Pride that was built where the Greater Linden Resource Center is at 11th and Cleveland Avenue. We have uh, CMAX coders come to and build new bus stops. We have the uh, Linden McKinley High School was completely remodeled. We have uh, 7th grade through 12th grade going there. Uh, we have people involved in our block watches and our, you know, I myself am personally involved in uh, Greater Linden Block Watch, South Linden Area Commission, uh, Greater Linden Advisory Council, Woodland Holt Civic Association, Argyle Park Civic Association, uh, Village at Eastern Glen Block Watch. These are all people that care about their community. We've done a lot this week and we're continuing to make significant investments in the Linden area. To build on the investments we made over the years in Windsor Park, improvements to Maloney Park, the renovation of Douglas Rec Center and Windsor Pool. The over $3 million investment in traffic signals along the Cleveland Avenue corridor and over $1 million in street resurfacing, just to name a few. The Department of Neighborhoods is a new department that Mayor Ginther created under his administration and it combines the Community Relations Commission, the 311 Call Center, the Neighborhood Pride Program, and the Neighborhood Liaisons and the Neighborhood uh, Pride Centers. And so all that now encompasses the Department of Neighborhoods. And so our goal is to provide good customer service, to be accountable and accessible, and have all of the city services housed in one area. The things like tonight with the Mayor's Night and people talking to the Mayor this all this week, uh, South Linden Neighborhood Pride, the city came in with city services, you know, they painted fire hydrants, they fixed streets, they cut grass, they worked on the vacants, they did all kinds of things. So we're working diligently to follow up on calls when citizens call in so we can get their questions and concerns answered. So it's 645-3111.